Goat milk, known for being gentle on the stomach and easier to digest than cow's milk, with its rich and distinctive flavor, is quickly becoming a popular alternative in many countries, especially among families with young children or elderly members. According to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO of the United Nations, global milk production reached around 900 million tons in 2022. Cow's milk made up the majority, about 80%. But what's noteworthy is that goat milk and sheep milk each accounted for the remaining 10%, and both are steadily increasing year by year. The reason, it's not just about the taste or nutritional value, it's because raising goats can start on a very small scale, with just a few animals, a few square meters of shelter, and a bit of hay each day, farmers can begin generating a steady source of income. In many countries, especially across Europe and Asia, the model of closed-loop goat farming is gaining popularity. According to the FIO, about 20% of goat farms today have adopted this closed system approach, meaning they manage everything from the living environment, feed and water, to the collection and processing of milk. Not only does this model help stabilize milk production, but it also ensures food safety and minimizes the risk of disease an increasingly important factor as consumers become more health conscious and focused on food safety. In the face of climate change and resource scarcity, goat farming is seen as a sustainable path forward. Goats eat less, drink less water, yet produce high value products like milk, cheese, and even natural cosmetics. So, what does it take to produce that rich, creamy white milk? How do farmers care for their goats? What do they eat? How do they live? And what kind of technology is being used to help collect hundreds of liters of milk each day, efficiently and with ease? <laughs> For a goat to produce sweet, pure milk, it's not just a matter of providing enough food and water. Just like humans, goats have emotions and can respond to their living environment. When they're kept in the right conditions, comfortable and stress-free, that's when they produce the highest quality milk. So, what does an ideal living environment for goats look like? First and foremost, temperature and humidity, two key factors in dairy goat farming. According to livestock experts, the optimal temperature for goats ranges from 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity levels between 50% and 70%. If you're raising goats in a hot climate, like the coastal regions of central Vietnam, providing plenty of cool, clean drinking water is a top priority. Goats are highly susceptible to heat stress, which can significantly reduce their milk production. On the other hand, in colder regions like the northern mountainous areas, goats need to be well sheltered to avoid frostbite or catching a chill, both of which can slow their growth and reduce milk production. In addition, proper lighting and ventilation in the barn are also essential. Goats need gentle sunlight exposure each day, especially in the early morning or late afternoon. This not only boosts their immune system, but also supports metabolism, helping them produce milk in the most natural way. One factor that many people often overlook is bedding. 
Goats prefer to lie on dry, clean surfaces, usually straw, rice husks, or sawdust. If the barn is damp, goats can easily develop infections and skin diseases, which directly affect milk quality. And then there's the matter of feeding. It might sound simple, but it's actually a science. Goats are herbivores, but that doesn't mean they can eat just anything. They need dry hay, well sunned and free from mold, at least twice a day. In the mornings, farmers often mix in grains or nutrient-rich seeds like corn, soybeans, or sunflower seeds to provide extra energy and boost milk production. On average, an adult goat consumes about two to three pounds, 0.9 to 1.4 kilograms of feed per day, but this amount can vary depending on the goat's breed, age, reproductive stage, and even the climate. Interestingly, on some farms, farmers even play soft music during feeding time, believing that relaxing sounds help goats eat more comfortably and in turn produce more milk. Behind every drop of rich white milk lies a magical journey of growth, from a tiny baby goat to a fully grown doe, becoming a mother to her herd of milk. That journey begins with a mother's love. Newborn baby goats usually nurse directly from their mother for the first six to eight weeks of life. This stage is incredibly important because the mother's first milk, known as colostrum, is rich in antibodies that help boost the baby goat's immune system, support healthy development, and reduce the risk of illness. After this period, the baby goats are gradually transitioned to formula milk, along with soft grasses and finely ground grains, a natural shift from their mother's milk to a new source of nutrition prepared by human hands. But the journey to becoming a dairy goat isn't as quick as you might think. On average, it takes about 18 months before a young female goat reaches maturity, enters her first breeding cycle, and begins producing milk. So, what triggers milk production? The answer is reproduction and the estrus cycle. Just like dairy cows, goats only produce milk after giving birth. That means each time a doe enters her estrus cycle, if she successfully bred and gives birth, her body begins the process of making milk. An estrus cycle in goats lasts about 21 days. And it's during this period, especially in the first few weeks after giving birth, that milk production typically peaks. Each goat can produce anywhere from three to five liters of milk per day, depending on the breed, diet, and level of care. That's no small amount. Just imagine a herd of 20 or even 50 goats being milked steadily every morning and evening. But to achieve that level of productivity, a goat's overall health is the key factor. And where does that health come from? The answer lies outside the barn, where sunlight and fresh air live. Goats are naturally active animals. If they're kept confined indoors all day, their metabolism slows down and their mood can become stressed, which often leads to reduced milk production. That's why on most farms, goats are let outside for at least two hours a day, usually in the early morning or late afternoon. Gentle sunlight helps the goats synthesize vitamin D, while walking around keeps their muscles and digestive system active, creating ideal conditions for natural milk production. You might not believe it, but goats raised in well-lit, peaceful environments with attentive care often produce up to twice as much milk as those kept in cramped, stressful conditions. If you've ever thought that milking goats is a hands-on task, done gently by hand every morning and evening, you wouldn't be wrong. But that's the story of small, traditional farms. In modern livestock farming, especially in advanced countries like the United States, the Netherlands, and Germany, goat milking has been almost completely automated. 
Smart milking systems can now handle up to 50 goats at once with incredible precision, cleanliness, and efficiency. But whether it's high-tech or low-tech, the milking process still follows a few essential steps, starting with gentle preparation. Every morning and evening, farmers guide groups of goats into the milking parlor, a quiet, clean space where the goats are already familiar with the daily rhythm. Before attaching the machine, farmers gently clean the goat's udder with a soft cloth and warm water, not only to ensure hygiene, but also to make the goat feel comfortable, which helps the milk flow more easily. Next, the milking machine is attached to each teat, applying a gentle suction that mimics the way a baby goat nurses. The entire process takes just about five to seven minutes depending on how much milk each goat produces. On large farms, automated rotary systems are used. Where goats step onto a circular platform, the machines attach automatically, and the entire milking process happens as the platform slowly rotates around a central axis. It saves labor, reduces time, and ensures maximum milking efficiency. That's the future of modern goat farming. On average, each mature goat can produce between three to five liters of milk per day, which adds up to around 250 to 300 liters per year. With a farm of 100 goats, you can imagine collecting tens of thousands of liters of milk each year, enough to produce tons of cheese, drinking milk, yogurt, and many other goat milk products. However, not every farm needs a high-tech rotary system. In many places, especially among small-scale farmers, manual or semi-automatic milking setups are still very common. These machines can milk 10 to 20 goats at a time, making them ideal for family-run farms with lower investment costs and easy operation. No matter the scale, one thing always remains the same, absolute cleanliness and gentle care for the herd. Goats are highly sensitive to their environment. If they feel stressed, are in pain, or unfamiliar with the person milking them, they may produce less milk or even refuse to let down their milk at all. When the smooth white streams of goat's milk are freshly drawn from the machine, still warm, rich with the scent of grass and sunlight, a new journey begins the transformation of milk into cheese. Goat cheese is more than just a product. It's considered a delicate work of craftsmanship where the cheesemaker is an artist and the rich full-bodied milk is the medium, a gift no other animal but the goat can provide. The process of making cheese may seem simple, but it's actually a blend of science patience, and heartfelt dedication. First, the fresh goat's milk is carefully filtered through cloth or a specialized filter, removing impurities, stray hairs, and ensuring the highest level of cleanliness. Next, the milk is gently heated to the optimal temperature, typically between 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, warm enough to activate the rennet enzyme. Once added, the rennet causes the milk to coagulate, separating it into two distinct parts, soft curds and clear whey. Next, the milk is gently heated to the optimal temperature, typically between 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, warm enough to activate the rennet enzyme. Once added, the rennet causes the milk to coagulate, separating it into two distinct parts, soft curds and clear whey. Once the milk has coagulated, the cheesemaker cuts the curds into even, uniform cubes. This step helps the whey drain more easily, resulting in a firmer, smoother cheese. 
The curds are then left to rest at a warm temperature for about 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the type of cheese. During this time, the cheese maker gently stirs them to help release more whey. After that, the whey is completely drained and the curds are transferred into molds to be shaped and pressed. The next step is to sprinkle natural sea salt, not only to enhance the flavor, but also to help preserve the cheese during the fermentation process. And then comes the most important stage, aging. Depending on the type of cheese, this process can last anywhere from two to six weeks, or even several months for premium varieties. During this time, the cheese is aged in a cool, humid environment and carefully turned each day to ensure even fermentation. The result is a soft, rich, and fragrant block of cheese with a distinct flavor. Deeper than cow's cheese, with a hint of nuttiness and a lingering, creamy finish. It's the kind of taste the French call art on the tip of the tongue. Among them, the most renowned is Italy's Pecorino Romano, famously known as the most expensive goat cheese in the world. It's made from the milk of free-ranging goats grazing on the hillsides of Sardinia, where the Mediterranean breeze carries the scent of wild herbs, infusing every drop of milk with its essence. Its bold, creamy, and complex flavor combined with a traditional handcrafted process, gives it its value, ranging from $200 to $300 per kilogram. According to the FAO, the world consumes around 2 million tons of goat cheese each year, a number that continues to rise, driven by the growing demand for clean, nutritious foods and the booming popularity of gourmet cuisine. The top consuming countries include Italy, France, Spain, the United States, and Greece. Culinary and wine capitals where goat cheese is not just food, but a part of the living culture. Behind every drop of goat milk is a story of love, patience, and technology. If you find value in the little things, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's spread something good to even more people.